richest man of the world, you can be Bill Gates, but you, are, you won't be able to buy Barca's club. Your responsibility is, is for your club is to do the best you can for the people that come and support you. We have to give something more. It's not just football. We have to give something more to, to the people and especially to the less fortunate. It's a pleasure uh, to play with all these teammates. They are winners and, and I think we can do big things. You play for Barcelona, you know, it's, 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 you play for a, a, a region. We have to understand here that you play for a country. We prefer to be the best than to be the first, but uh, at the end, if you are the best, you have a, a lot of possibilities to be the first. It's one of the great stadiums, but as the motto on the far side will tell you, it's more than just a club. Joanne Laporta is in the final few months of his presidency at Barcelona, voted for by 150,000 socios, paying 150 euros a year. And they all want a top man who understands the club. It's the expression of our football identity, it's the expression of our culture, and uh, it's the expression of our uh, solidarity. And at the same time, uh, is the expression of uh, the globalization of the club. This is more than a, than a club. It's not a slogan, it's a, a principle declaration. And uh, in, I think that uh, we, we have to develop this uh, principle, this declaration of principles, because, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's thanks to this that Barca is, is living, we are living in the best period of our history. The framework helps cement Barca's strong Catalan identity. It's easy to see why this model is the envy of many. Barca represents a kind of nationality for Catalan people, and as Catalonia has not a state, you can transmit this feeling uh, via or, or through Barca. It's coming to the stadium with your flag, with Catalonian flags, and for Catalan people it's very, very important. Barca is like... Uh, uh, an army, but of course with no weapons, just uh, football, for the Catalan people, just to fight in, the, in, a, in some metaphoric war against Madrid. I think playing for Barcelona is probably as good as it can get in terms of being a footballer uh, and playing for a club. They're just so huge, um, massive amount of pressure. The expectancy is incredible. You think it's bad in this country. Barcelona has two daily newspapers alone on just pretty much Barcelona Football Club. Um, so I have to fill loads of copy on that. And that was, that was 25 years ago. It's an emblem of our country. Of, uh, it's an emblem of Catalonia. And this uh, emblem, this meaning, uh, is the way, that, uh, is the way to, to, to put everybody, commit, to commit everybody uh, with the club. And, uh, you know, I think that every club has something special, you know. And in our case is that we are more than just a club because it is the expression of our identity, our Catalan culture and our solidarity. There are different ways, of course, of running a football club. Back in England, we're very much used now to a, a foreign owner coming in with a lot of money and, and fans getting a bit upset about the level of debt at clubs. Do you think that the way that Barcelona is run, with the fans, with the, the one member, one vote, that the fans are part of that, do you think that is the best way, the ideal way to do it? Uh, in my opinion, yes. And yes, is the, in my opinion. And uh, at least for us, that we are uh, an institution uh, that linked strongly linked to, to our society, Catalan society. It's very important that the club belongs to the people. Being a season ticket holder is a kind of privilege in Catalonia and Spain, so it is impossible to, uh, that the, the, the Barça will be in the hands of a very economic, a very, very big company, a very rich uh, man. It's impossible, it's unfeasible, it's, it's unthinkable, because people feel like uh, the, it is my club, uh, and I own a, a little piece of a stadium, and my, my seat in the stadium is my, my not only mine, but only, uh, but almost, um, and also for for my family. A few years ago, they said you all will have to be like enterprises, and then we said no, 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 no. We are the Basha is from the socios, yeah. And then, well, maybe in four years, you cannot say a lot, but every four years you can vote. 
So at least we have the, the right of saying, okay, we don't like them, so just we sack them off, and then there's a new one. So you only have to stand them for four years. Nobody can sell the club. The club is from us. You can be the, the richest man of the world, you can be Bill Gates, but you, are, you won't be able to buy Barca's club. Is, is that the situation? And, and Barca's fans enjoy being like that. Nobody can sell the club, you know what I mean? In England, you can sell Manchester, you can, or you can sell Liverpool, or you can sell anybody. In Barcelona, you cannot sell the club. The club is from the socios. It's the best way for our club, you know? Uh, uh, um, I, I don't want to, to, to give any um, advice or any opinion because it's not my business, you know? But for our clubs, the best, the best uh, way to do it is uh, with a non-profit association that belongs to the members and belongs to the society. Barca have attracted some of the biggest names in the game, but whatever they're standing when they arrive at the club, they have to buy into the ethos, Mesca and club. Barcelona's list of greats go back an awfully long way, but some things never change. If you understand what this club means to the fans, you'll never be forgotten. This will give you an indication of what we're talking about because in this room at the moment we've got quite a lineup: Eusebio, Charlton, we've got Koeman, Stoichkov, Iniesta, Xavi, Puyol and Valdez, all here to acclaim a man who did it as both a player and a manager, Johan Cruyff. It's amazing to have two of the game's greats uh, together and to have us talking to you both. I was just wondering whether is there a decision between you? Do you two agree on the best way the football club should be run? But if not, it's not a que question of what's good and bad. It depends who or what. It always depends on the situation. It always depends on a lot of different things. Your responsibility is, is for, for your club is to do the best you can for the people that come and support you. Yeah. And that's what, what both clubs do. And both clubs have been very successful. Like, like every good business, you know, when, when you're successful, you make the most of it. And uh, Barcelona have done that. And uh, they're quite unique in, in, in Spain. Within Spain, they are very unique. Um, and if, if ever anyone wanted to see how a football club should be run, you know, certainly come to Manchester United, but also make sure that you go to Barcelona because it's, uh, it's, it's really fantastic. Within the community of, uh, of uh, Catalonia, you could say, it's, it's a point of reference where people do sports, people try to combine people, try to get everything together. And of course, like I said, it, it had one day in a political background. Now it's much more open, of, which is logical. And so, but they kept always more than a club. The club's reach extends far beyond Spain. Together with UNICEF, Barca have been working in Rwanda to provide homes for nearly 20,000 refugees. Earlier in the season, Joan Laporta led a club delegation to a camp in Kiziba, a project very close to the outgoing president's heart. But now we are living at the best period of our history and I think that is the best way that we have to, to show our heart, to show our soul uh, in order especially to, to say to the less fortunate that, uh, well, there is a club, that the name is Football Club Barcelona, that is thinking uh, about them, that uh, they are not alone. Here in Kiziba, uh, in Rwanda, is a camp of refugees uh, that uh, they are coming from, from Congo. And uh, we are um, involved in a program with uh, UNHCR, in order to develop programs uh, for education, for nutrition and sporting programs. How old are you? Que, I, que have you? <laughs> I have, I have uh, 13, 13 years old. Yes. I think that is very important uh, for us because we feel better and for them it's uh, really important uh, to profit this opportunity, to, to have uh, access to to the education. FC Barcelona uh, particularly is uh, supporting us uh, on education, um, sportive, uh, sportive activities uh, and 